Yo, yo. Welcome to Jay's Gamepad. <clears throat> I wanted to um, basically... Alright, so... I've just played Detroit Become Human, yeah? Just, was it... Uh, I finished it last night. I got the... Was I, I, I got the... Very good ending, or like the best ending you can get, apparently. And stuff, and... Do you know what, yeah, like... You know sometimes when your friend says to you... Watch this film or watch this anime and you're like yeah yeah I'm gonna watch it or, or, or like you're in two minds or they I mean or they or like every time you see them they keep on saying to you yeah 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 like check out that film or check out this game or check out this album or check this out and you're like yeah then you then then you get it or you leave it and you wait for like a year or, or, or however long you wait like you wait a long time then when you finally play it listen to it watch it or whatever you think to yourself why did I wait so long to experience this game? This game is really good. I think um, it was quite a dream that developed this game, yeah. This game is really good. I really fucking enjoy it. Now, I'm actually surprised. And the funny thing about it is that I've had the demo on my PS4 Pro since game out. And um, when I first played demo, I actually enjoyed it. But, but, and like I knew I wanted to play it, I knew I wanted to experience it, but it wasn't a big deal because other games were more important to me, like Horizon Zero Dawn, whatever was coming out around at that time. It was like, uh, yeah, or Tomb Raider, or like whatever game it was at the time. That's where, my, that's where my money was going. And sometimes I would play, what was it? I would play the demo. And it, and it was good. But it never ever really made me feel like I'm gonna go and buy this game tomorrow. I did was it I put I posted a um was it I put a video up on my channel just the other day. Basically talking about like, you know, since the lockdown and stuff like that and the world and everything's been happening, is that um I was it that I managed to find like really, really good deals for games, like triple A um titles that like, for like really cheap. You know, online physical copies, and how that they were actually cheaper than the on sale digital games that you can get on PlayStation or, or even Xbox or whatever. You know, and I, I, I put I posted a video up just letting everyone know where you can go to get it. Was it to get that? And I literally got um, Spider Man, uh, Detroit Become Human, and Street Fighter Championship Edition, all for under like sixty pound. I think I might pay like. How much did I pay? No, sorry, all for under £50. You know what I mean? Because they were like £11, £12, £50. You know what I mean? Like, it was just mad cheap. It was just mad cheap. And that's why I bought it, I was I saw it there for like £15. I thought, brand new. I thought, oh, do you know what? Let me just get the truck to come human. It's so cheap. But it was, because there's been other times when I've seen it for like £22, whatever, and I've, and, I, and I've meant to get it, and when I've gone back to go and buy it, the price has gone up, and I think, fuck it, you know, in my head it's like, I'll get the game, but when it's down to a certain price. But because I saw um, the game online, I think I got it from, I think it was base.com, for like £15, £15.99 or, £15 or something, I thought, fuck it, let me just get it, I bought it. And, um, yeah, I, was that fucking, was that, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this game. You know what I mean, I'm really enjoying this game, and this game has got like so many things you can do, different um, was was it different branches, different avenues, different perspectives, different endings. This game has got a lot, and I was it, and I played Heavy Rain, and I played um, was it Beyond Two Souls, even though I thought Beyond Two Souls was probably, I thought the story on Heavy Rains was better than Beyond Two Souls, but I thought Beyond Two Souls looked better and it was more of a of an adventure and I like that supernatural side to it as well and stuff so, so, so I suppose I kind of like them as good as each other but maybe leaning more towards Beyond Two Souls you know, because the story is good but it's not better than Heavy Rain Heavy, was it, I, was, I like that psychological thriller you know that, 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 that mystery of who the killer is and, and stuff and yeah you know so so their resume, their record's on point. But yeah, but this game is cool, like, you know. Um, you know, you play as Marcus. Um, 
you know I mean, Mark, was it Marcus's story was good. Basically, um, you know, it's about androids, if you, if, you, if you don't really know. But he basically becomes the androids uh, leader. Basically, um, was it revolts, rises up, revolution to free the android, to free the people. And I actually really enjoyed that, um, that, that, that story, that journey, that the narrative told. And, you know, obviously it's, you know, you've got different branches, but obviously I really enjoyed that. Then you've got Kara and um, she, and, and, and um, I was, I've got the girl, it was a little girl's name, but basically uh, two, was it, you got android that forms connection with this little girl mother and daughter relationships um, was it sees the abuse and stuff takes her away from that and stuff kind of gets mixed up in the um, android uprising sort of thing like you know that underground railroad kind of thing because she's trying to escape to Canada you know because Canada um, you know don't have certain laws and you know, was it was kind of the place to be free if you're android basically so you, like, I like that you know I mean so I really enjoyed the journey that you go with her the, the, the relationship between her and the girl and even when you come across um, oh, I've got the black was it, was it the black android's name now you know I mean just that whole relationship and, and the whole situation I thought that's cool and the way it kind of um, um, connected and intertwined with um, Marcus's story and Connor I really enjoy Connor's story. You know, he's like the another android, but he's like the you know I mean, like the um, top of the range android. You know, like detective. You know, he um, was it? He was it? He works with the police detective and stuff. And that's the whole thing about trying to find out why these androids are um, like turning to deviants, like awakening up and realizing and, and like rebelling and stuff. Like trying to find out why and reasons why and stuff. And that whole journey goes on and, and the choices and, and that choice you get where you can have a kind of deviant or, 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 or a machine and the relationship between him and the police officer and stuff and, and the police officer with his son, losing his son and how depending on what you do, how the police officer how the police officer sees you and stuff and you know and as you um start was it starting to realise certain things. It's just the way it really you know I mean like that the way the story was very um woven together and stuff like, like was it, I thought it was very very clever like I was it, I've seen videos online and people say that um you know like there's a lot of plot holes and and uh, was it there's a lot of things that don't make sense and do you know what yeah like it's like was it it would, like it would be hard for me to even really like like to even see if there was plot, was it major plot holes or things that make any sense unless they were very big glaring ones and because this game's got so many different avenues, it branches off into so like so many different possibilities. You can get so apparently you can get like apparently you can get like a hundred endings. I don't know if that's true or not, but you can get a lot of endings. So that's like craziness, you know what I'm saying? So if someone's doing that, like quantum was it quantum dreams and making a game like that where your choices really matter you could, because you've got so many different endings, there are bound to be plot holes, like little plot holes. But you, I mean, but you're probably not even going to see them. I didn't notice them. But even if there was, I would expect them. I would actually expect them to be plot holes, like because of the fact that the game is so intricate. You know what I mean, it's so clever. Well, it's like so much going on in the game. So much, there's so much possibilities. I'm just having fun, man. You know what I mean, I am having a lot of fun. You know, um, I mean, I didn't think that I would enjoy this game this much. You know, and this was one of these games that, that, that I had that feeling and, and the thought of why the fuck did I wait so long to play this game because this game is so good, it's so fun, you know, like if I was it like if I had to give it like a score, like a rating, like this was it, like was easily 8 out of 10, that for me, and for a game like this here, I didn't think that I would give a game like this, like such a high grade like it's such, a, it's such, a, it's such a high mark because there isn't that much in terms of gameplay it's a very stylized unique gameplay you get what I mean you know but in this game they was it they actually have you like there was it there was it there's a bit where Connor is chasing a deviant and the chase like you're actually, actually running him down like you're chasing him down and that whole thing is good that is so good you know, and I think the reason why I wanted to just talk about it and just you know, like just do this video in general is because I, I think the time that I somehow 
saw the game for cheap and 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 got it and played it is 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 so um, relevant to now, because especially with the black um, was it Black Lives Matter, everything that's been happening in this country around the world, things that I've experienced growing up as a um, was it as a black man in this was it in this country in England and stuff, seeing how it's changed, how it's really bad and how it's, you know um, like you know it's not called to be a racist anymore. Back to people just being open and just don't give a fuck and stuff and and the things that's been happening and the discrimination and the bigotry and all of that that's, that's happening like this game is so relevant to what's going on now and it asks you questions about all them things and about what life is you know about the soul and making choices and everything is so relevant and it's, it's just weird because of the fact that you know like in this lockdown no, I like was it? I'm online looking for games. I, I come across it. It's cheap. I buy it. For what's happening? I play it, and it's just so relevant. And it just was it. It really hit home on so many different levels. Like this was it. This game has got so many different levels in terms of the storytelling and 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 the uh, and the depth and the substance that it has while you're playing this game. And you know, yeah, this was it. This was this game is really good, man. You know what I mean? Really, really good. You know, so I just thought I'd talk about it. Um, if you if you haven't played Detroit Become Human, interested in getting the game um, online, you can what's it? You like you pick up for fifteen pound. I mean hard copy. Uh, you can get from CES Computer Exchange for fifteen pound second hand. You know, it doesn't really matter because like there isn't any um, DLC or downloadable content, so I suppose it doesn't really matter whether you get second hand or not. But if you want it brand new, you can get it for brand new for about fifteen pound, seventeen pound now, whatever check online um, yeah but it's a really good game and I would recommend playing it especially with what's going on now and I mean, especially with the climate that the world is currently in um, and yeah it's, it's a really good game and I'm going to be playing this game more you know, I'm, I'm, I, make, I make this video because I'm just really shocked and surprised how much I actually enjoyed this game this game is really fun so if you haven't played it, go and get it. You can get it for cheap. Um, I'm not sure if it was it what the prices are like online, like in terms of digital, um, like buying it from the PSN store or whatever. But I will say, if you haven't played it and you like games uh, that 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 have, um, I mean, where your choices really matter and that can change the whole reflection of the game, how the character is perceived, and everything, like, and and the storytelling. Go and get and play Detroit Become Human because it's a really good game. It's a godlike game. Um, I gave it an 8 out of 10. That's what I would give it. Um, I might was it, but then again, I might give it more because of all the stories and stuff and the, and, 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 and the depth that it's got and the substance. So, but right now, it's an easy 8 out of 10. I'm really enjoying this game. If you haven't played it, go and get it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will speak to you soon.